Hello, everybody, and welcome to Epic Auto Towers. I'm Heron Steinbear. Let's get right into it, and let me tell you about this game. So this is a Super Auto Pets style auto battler where you place towers along the a 2D axis to see who you, uh, how many enemies you can take out before they take you out. So as you can see in this demo, we only have the Royal Tower, the Fairy Tale Tower that holds three crowns and the gold, Cat Towers, Guardian Towers, Witch, Princess, and Dragon Towers. Welcome to the Fairy Tale. You start with a Chess Tower, which generates two gold at the start of a round. If it's next to the Royal Tower, otherwise it only generates one gold. They have two others here that they're at least kind of uh, teasing us with the inferno tower and the necromancer's tower really interested to see what those are but those are only going to be available in the full version let's jump into a run with the royal tower our starting bonus will be let's see i don't know what vagabond's sack is round one and two minus two towers in the tower store round three towers in the tower store be replaced by one random rare tower interesting Hmm, one HP and one damage to the Royal Tower is essentially nothing in later games, so I'm definitely not going to do that. I think I will go with the round one and two, because ultimately at the beginning, we don't have much gold anyway. We're going to probably go ahead and do Chest Tower there. Again, that's the one that gets us extra gold. And then I do really like Snake Tower. So Snake Tower applies two to three poison to each appearing monster. And then the monster's attack is reduced by X and it takes X more damage from all sources where X is how much poison they have. So that's a good one just to have out just automatically just there's three poison. So yeah, these guys aren't even going to do any damage to us because they're doing the three less damage from the poison. So that makes their attack effectively zero. I do also really love the ladder tower. It seems really strong. You can keep building it up and up and up. So while most towers take two two towers to upgrade to level two and like three or four to upgrade to level three the ladder tower itself can always be upgraded to the next level with just one more tower your goal do, does roll over between rounds so it is in your best interest to not spend it all on each phase so you can kind of start to build it up you also don't want to ooh, build a tower at the end of a turn level four towers blah 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 I mean, I guess we kind of got to take it because there's nothing else there. So yeah, I'll go ahead and take that. We don't have any level four towers, uh, but eventually we will. So as you can see, we just lost our first tower. It's not a big deal. It comes back right at the end of the round, assuming we survive. We can lose the Royal Tower three times. Once all these crowns are gone, we've lost the run unless, uh, unless we just win the run. And then that's great. Um, I probably should have put the snake tower up more forward. I don't need to, I, I keep falling in the track of bunching everything up at the back and it doesn't, you have a lot of space here to put other stuff. And that would have given me room to put the horse tower next to the chest tower, which gets me, it would get me an extra plus one. Um, so yeah, that was a mistake. Also thief tower. We could have put that there. Um, I'm not a big fan of the mosquito towers. Uh, they do work well. There's a frog tower that it works well with, but I do really like the guardian towers. So, you know, what? I think I'm going to put guardian towers right up front when they're destroyed. They get you have plus one HP and plus one damage to all towers. If I had it next to the chest or the royal tower uh, or no, sorry, the chest and royal towers always receive a double bonus. So that's pretty good. And yeah, I don't really love any of the rest of this. Um, maybe I go horse tower up front. Maybe I take a horse tower up front. There we go. Kill that guy. Kill that guy. Good to go. On to the next round. Ooh, Hydra tower. I've been wanting to use one of those. Witch tower as well. At the start of the round adds a random potion to the store. I don't know what potions do. There's that frog tower I was telling you about. So if you have a bunch of mosquito towers, um, this will scale uh, itself one damage and two HP and one gold 
if you have a level three mosquito tower. It turns into a knight tower if you have a princess tower, which power is based on the power of the frog tower here. Uh, so you get a bunch of mosquito towers, play the frog tower, then play the princess tower, turn it into a knight tower. It becomes super strong and uh, yeah, all kinds of things. I do think I want to go for the Hydra Tower for sure. I'm going to put it up front as well. Maybe I should have put it in the middle so it gave me a little bit more space. You can't move your towers once they're placed, unfortunately. There are removal tokens that you can get as uh, end of uh, when you kill the boss, end of, end of map, I guess, rewards. But, or I'm sorry, it's not. It's when you level up. So this one, uh, this lets me allow... Uh, remove a token from the field and can be used up to three times so you know what maybe that is a good call just so that we can replace some of our shittier things uh i don't love any of these options the iron tower can be good if you get it to level three that's a lot of investment to put into that i think i will go ahead and re-roll which is that one of the royal towers uh, abilities so I don't know if every not everybody gets a reroll maybe some other people get like the necromancer gets the pull from discard or something not sure how that works uh, I think I will just go ahead and end there though rather than spend all of our money on rerolling because it does cost one coin to reroll when you do easy fight easy fight get out of here get out of here Ooh, another hydra tower we'll go ahead and start to level you up here's the cat tower so we have the milk tower here which will give milk to the tower on the right and then the cat tower here which will give a get a hp and damage buff every time it gets milk uh so that's actually really good cat towers are common so are milk towers um you know that might not be a bad call but i don't quite have enough money to do them both so if I buy one, I'm kind of, mm, yeah, I'm kind of uh, gambling that I get some more cat towers there. Little bit of a gamble. That's all right. So far, we got that guy's down, that guy's down. And this snake tower is still applying that poison to everybody, remember? So everybody could be doing two to three damage more than they're doing now. Ooh, rare Hydra Tower again to get you to level two, minus two cost for Hydra, Frog, and Snake Tower. So yeah, these Snake Towers, I think it was three. So these now only cost one for us. And uh, these I think cost three now because they were five normally. And it's scaling really good. We got 19 damage on that already. Fortunately, that was able to take it out. Uh, that's good there and then this will get killed by the ladder tower never even came close to the snake uh, Hydra tower is down to eight now I don't know why I thought five I knew it was ten so let's see I don't have enough for milk tower still and no cat towers have showed back up fingers crossed they show up at some point Okay, so far so good. I got both of these guys and then just this one last enemy and we're good to go. Oh, the boss is here. So he's got 100 damage, 100 health and uh, yeah, that's not great for us. Um, not great at all. I think I just keep leveling the Hydra. And uh, hope we hope we can come out with a win here, because honestly, I guess we're not going to lose because our we have more. Oh, oh, boss takes off all of the crowns. Oh, all right. Well, we'll jump into another one real quick and see what we can do. The starting tower replaced with coffee tower. The starting tower will appear in the tower store in the second round. OK, um. Royal Tower gets a temporary bonus on round one. Two random towers to the tower store seems good. Let's do that. Let's do that. Okay, so we'll do the chest tower again. And then now we can do, we'll do like cat tower here with milk tower beside it. There we go. 
get those bonuses. Boop and boop. And then, ooh, that actually was closer than I would like to have admitted. All right, so we can do another milk tower there. And then we got our ladder tower. You know what? I'm going to put the ladder tower right up front this time. I'm going to put it right up front this time. It'll at least block that first fish. Cat kills the second and the third fish. And the fourth fish gets to our royal tower, but that's okay. That's all right. We're still building, still building. There we go. Milk tower. So now do the two to the right. So not this one or it would normally do this space, I should say. I'm going to do glass tower behind because then that can start getting scaled by the milk tower, which gives it more HP. The glass towers uh, main downside is it's low HP. So if I can start scaling it this early in the game, it actually could probably be end up being pretty strong. So we're going to give that a shot. Ooh, more glass towers. Perfect. And you know what? Well, yeah, I'll do both. I'll do both. There we go. All right. Looking good. Okay, glass tower got two enemies. It's pretty good for glass. There we go. Uh, we own damage by two at the end of every turn. So, ooh, egg tower is pretty good. Uh, definitely going to take that. So egg tower will eventually turn into a dragon tower or give us the option to get a dragon tower, I should say. Uh, I will go ahead, instead of doing the glass tower again, I'm gonna do cat tower because those have been showing up less. All right, good, 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 beautiful. All right, second wave here. We take out the first two. That one's getting through a little bit. Uh-oh. Oh, this is bad. We lost, a, we lost a crown. This is bad. Uh, we'll do the plus 10 health and damage. I think that'll be huge. Going forward, we'll do another cat tower, get you to level two so you can scale even better. And then throw that on there. Beautiful. Beautiful. All right, cat tower taking them down. Ooh, gonna lose to this first guy though. Milk tower is so weak. So weak. All right, world tower is dead. Is get got him dead. Got him dead. All right, forge tower. If the damage of select tower is less than five damage, becomes five. If the HP is less than five. HP becomes five. You can use forge one time per turn with each tower. Uh, so I could level up the egg tower considerably with this. Um, so yeah, maybe I do that. There we go. All right, and we'll end the turn there. See how we do's. Okay, all right, good. We'll get these first two here. That's huge. And then kill that guy. And the, this goldfish has no fucking chance. That damn sea king has no chance. Uh, all right, so then we can also... This is probably the next one that needed the buff. Uh, ooh, TNT tower is really good, but it's only really good early. But if we take this now... Uh, so the way that works, after, when it's destroyed, it deals damages all the monsters on screen for eight damage. It's really good up front, uh, but it works good in the back as well. Because uh, just whenever, it, eventually it's going to get destroyed. So it'll do that damage regardless. But as you can see, like these two guys have less than eight health to start with. And here, I mean, even the healthiest guy only had 12. There you go. They're all dead is the TNT. We will have to remove it at some point because eventually eight is not enough to damage anybody. Uh, we don't want to give this more health, so we're not gonna do that. I will put that on the milk tower then, and then we can go cat tower and milk tower. So then we're gonna start to be able to uh, buff the ladder tower with the milk. There we go. 
Glass Tower does 21 damage now. Bam, bam, bam. TNT takes the rest of them out. Let's fucking go. Oh, and we're already on the boss round. Holy shit. I did not see that coming. All right, so this is gonna level up our ladder tower up to level five. And then we can also do that to get that up. I probably should have done that first. Not that I didn't really have anything else I would have used the forge tower on though. So didn't really matter. And we'll just end there. And hope we take out the boss. I mean, we do have a good amount of damage here. Uh, hey, we survived it. Let's fucking go. So we can get the archaeologist hat where we improve the chance of finding uncommon and rare towers. Parmesan, if a rare tower receives milk, that tower gains plus two damage. Rare tires, towers cost one gold less. Every three turns, each tower receives milk. That seems really good. Gain an extra tower slot. Ooh, that seems good too. And then we can go with the Parmesan because there's cat towers. If I'm getting even more milk for the cat towers. Uh, ooh, and the cat towers milk grants an extra three HP. Yes, please. Yes, please. And then we can do you and get you five damage now. We got a Parmesan. Everybody's getting milk. All right, here we go. Moving in to act two. Hello, everybody, and thank you so much for watching the video today. If you haven't already subscribed, please go ahead and do so. We're trying to hit a thousand subscribers and we're getting closer every day. We can't do it without your help. If you'd like to help the channel more directly, you can join a YouTube membership by clicking the link in the description, getting access to the member exclusive discord, early access to videos and a shout out in every video like Jacob Burns. Thank you so much, Jacob, for your continued support. I'll let you get back to the video and I hope you're all having a great rest of your day. See ya. Get teleported to another dimension with all our towers intact. Let's see what we can make happen here. Uh, oh, I should have done the cat tower. I didn't even think about it. Damn it. I'm an idiot. I could have leveled up cat tower to level three. Damn. Probably would have done plus three HP and three damage permanently each time. There you go. And once we get to the next act, we do go back to only one wave of enemies. But I, to my knowledge, there's no way of telling how many waves are coming that particular time. But now our glass tower does 31 damage. Oh my God. Uh, cat tower again is plus three HP and plus three damage. Every time it gets milk of which it gets it constantly. And then the milk also is giving them all plus three HP. This is great. All right, I think I am gonna do the removal token because I can remove the forge tower and the TNT tower. So let's go ahead and remove the forge tower. Uh, I'll leave the TNT for right now until we figure out what we actually want to put there. Uh, let's bear. If any tower is permanently removed from the field, bear tower permanently receives the damage and HP of the removed towers bonus. Uh, okay. So it would get plus eight plus five if I remove the when I remove the TNT. So if something else I'm gonna remove. I guess this is also removed. Yeah, so that's probably pretty good actually. And then I can do I'm gonna wait uh to spend any more gold, actually. I'm gonna save that three for next round. Lots of health on that ferret thing. Okay, be able to take that one out, that one out. And now we got this last turtle. Beautiful, XP, XP, there we go. Look at that bear go. And now we have a dragon tower here. Adds an egg tower to the tower store at the beginning of the round and grants five gold. Deals 60% of its damage to all monsters on the screen at the start of combat. Okay, okay. Uh, and then I am going to go ahead and remove the TNT tower. Uh, oh, because it already happened this round. I'm an idiot. Shit, I'm an idiot. 
Oh, well. Oh, well, that's what I get. Throw that on the chest tower. I don't, I'm not really doing frog towers or snake towers at the moment. So I'm not going to worry about that. Let's go ahead and end and go with what we've got. Dragon tower doing damage. 60% of its damage. So we really need to buff that guy's damage a lot if possible. All right. Ooh, this guy's got a lot of health. Just notice how much health he had. Oof, oof, that sucked. That sucked. All right, well. Um, it seems like a lot to go through for just for another dragon tower. Um, it will buff, I guess. My bear tower, but not as much because the only reason it did as much as it did. I think we put snake tower there and then we'll reroll. And I can even do now. I'll go one more there. I'll go two more there because three wouldn't have leveled it up anyway. And there we go. There we go. Take you out. You're taken out by the first guy. So you get half of the health of the second guy. Beautiful. Oh, and then you take out the third. This guy's done for, right? Right? Hopefully. Bam. Didn't even make it back to the Royal Tower. Okay. Any tower receives a damage. Coffee Tower receives the same bonus temporarily. All temporary bonus are multiplied by two. Is the milk count as temporary? Plus four permanent. Okay, no, it does not then. No, it does not. All right. Yeah, so I don't do temporary damage buffs, really. Uh, we'll go snake tower again. Um, and another milk tower. Although I'm assuming the milk tower is just going to give, you know what? I probably shouldn't be doing that. The milk tower upgrades probably just extended out to four spaces ahead instead of three. And I don't have anything four spaces ahead. So that won't make any difference whatsoever. Okay. Well, we took, we lost a lot in round one. Oh, never mind. No, we didn't. We're good. Good to go. I love how much, uh, health the ladder tower is i wish there was a way to buff its damage a little bit quicker uh there's that that I think maxes it out oh no level five we can get level up to level six with the ladder tower uh re-roll here Ooh, i can go one two and three get that one almost up to four bam beautiful Take that out. Okay, and now we got wave two coming. Easy, easy game for babies. There we go. All right, last ladder tower. That maxes it out. 2065, that thing is. That is insane. 20 damage and 65 health. Glass tower now 53 damage and 56 health. That is insane. It has more health than damage now. And it's the glass tower that's supposed to be the exact opposite of that. So that is kind of hilarious, to be honest with you. Um, like I said, I do like the iron tower, but it's just... I feel like there's better shit I could be putting out here. Like more cat towers. Let's grow this cat. Got 112 health that cat does. God damn. All that milk gives him strong bones. Boop, 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 boop. Ooh, and he takes out the final guy. Cat Tower MVP, baby. Boss will appear this round. Feature gains plus five HP each time it hits a tower. Ooh, I don't love that. I do not love that. Okay. 
Uh, Reroll there. Butler Tower grants two HP and two damage to the tower on the left at the end of the turn. Effect is doubled for the Royal Tower. Hmm. So I could theoretically... I'll get less gold, but why don't I remove the chest tower? My bear becomes kind of bomb, and then butler tower goes there. I wish I had one more gold to be able to buy that snake tower there, but that's okay, because now you get a bunch of damage buffs each time at royal tower. And hopefully we have the damage we need to take this guy out. Ooh, I think we might. Oh, maybe not actually. Maybe not actually. Oh, and bosses take all crowns. Damn, that boss was actually the end of the demo anyway, though. It ends after act two. I have been absolutely loving this game. It is a blast. Can't wait to play the full version. So hopefully you all uh, enjoyed the video as well. If you did, please go ahead and hit that like button. If you enjoy content like this, go ahead and subscribe and put out a new video every single day. So there's always something to watch. If you have any comments on this game or any others you'd like to see me play, please let me know in the comments. I love hearing from you. And if you want to interact further with the Herrenstein Bear community, you can click the link right down in the description to get access to our member exclusive discord early access to every video i post and at our highest tier a shout out in every single video like jacob burns thank you so much jacob you're amazing thank you for your support to everyone else who's been liking commenting watching subscribing you are amazing as well so thank you and until next time i hope you all have a great rest of your day and i'll see you then bye